ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we have a very strong panel here before us um, of experts in the section of health, education, social protection, and sustainable environment um, with varied expertise, but specifically within the context of Liberia. And this, this will be experts who will essentially engage with um, the Ibrahim Index on, on governance, the index and the report within the context of Liberia. In places that I have lived, we have vast resources amongst the doctors, the nurses, and other trained professionals who are willing to volunteer their time and have this free clinic for people who absolutely, absolutely will not have the means to access. We can do that. We have to find resources for education. It is not cheap, but if you fail to invest in education, you are, you, are, you, are, you are planning to have a difficult way to run a nation because no nation is run by uh, people that are having gone, that are having had basic education because you have to compete. And another thing that we did not mention is as we look beyond post, beyond COVID, the education system is going to change slightly. We need to begin to think through that beyond uh, the IIAG data. Education is going to be partially uh, virtual. How do you how do you plan for that so that you start at the elementary level all the way to college level? That is another challenge that is going to impose another uh, headache for us to consider. But we cannot run away from that from that possibility. It's, it's a fact. Wherever there have been problems in all parts of the world, they have looked to higher education to solve the problem. It's about time we invest in our higher education. You want better teachers? You want to develop the university and put the brightest, attract the brightest. You want people to evaluate policy? Look to the university. Healthcare education must work hand in hand. It's about time that by investing in better, higher, higher quality, higher education that then drive the changes down to the primary school and then they want to do research and collect data to evaluate policy. I think perhaps the most important uh, factor is the lack of political from those in position of power and authority to implement the policies the laws will have on the books that are designed to really a stimulate a development at all levels of our society. Bold and progressive um, reforms um, are needed if things are to change so that every child can have access to high quality education that allows them to fulfill their potential and contribute to the development of not only this nation, but the region and the continent.